purpose of this video is to show you how to prepare a template in CarawDraw for use with the text file we just created. Then using the print merge function in CarawDraw, merging the template with the text for output production. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The template that I need to produce is going to be for a bunch of AYSO trophies, and the plate size is going to be 7 8 by 3 inch. The first thing that we need to do is go ahead and change our paper size to the size of the plate. So we'll go ahead and change that to 0.875 by 3 and get it to look like the size of the trophy plate. Go ahead and double click up in the rectangular box and then what I like to do is give it a white fill and then delete the outline or no outline. Okay, now we need to go ahead and merge this template with a text field. The text field that we created earlier had a name, a team, and a division. To go ahead and get the proper columns into this template, what we want to do is click on File, Print Merge, Create Load Merge Fields. And then we want to go ahead and import that text file that we had already created. So we went ahead and created this in the Documents file, I believe, and we saved it as AYSO Girls Text 2001. Click Next, and you can see we've got the three field names of the name, the team, and the division. Click Next, and this is the entire list of all the girls. Like I said, it was 652 records. Click Next, and then you don't have to worry about any of this, but just go ahead and click Finished. Once you click finish, it goes ahead and puts a bar up in here. You can see over on the fields name here, we have the name, team, and division. We want to go ahead and insert the name, drop this down, select the team, hit insert, drop this down, click division, hit insert. So now we have our three fields and you can see they've got carrots on either side. That's the information that we need. Now let's go ahead and format the text to fit onto the plate. First thing I like to do is go ahead and change the font. So I've selected all three items. Um, and we can go ahead and use a Calibri font. And then go ahead and we want to make the name bold. We want that to be about 16 points per se. Then the team. We have a calligraphy. We want to italicize it. We want to use probably about a 14 point font. And then we have the division, which we can also do in a 14 point font. Then we go ahead and just need to arrange it onto our plate. Go ahead and make the logo here just a little bit smaller. And before we put the division, we want to put in 2010 dash and then leave the division like you see it here. Line it up like such. And then the team name. We want to go ahead and center it up on this here. Make the logo a little bit bigger. And what I like to do is go ahead and group these two. Select the AYSO logo. Hit the E button to center it vertically. Move it up and then go ahead and group these two, hit the C button to center it to the plate, and then we want the name here to center it along everything. So now we have our template. I'm just going to ungroup these things. Now the only other problem that we have is sometimes you may have a name that's extremely long. So to prevent the name from going outside the boundaries of the trophy plate, what I do is I click on the after the carrot here and I add a whole bunch of, oops, wait a second, first thing we need to do is make sure the text is center aligned. Then I go ahead and add a whole bunch of commas and you want to use a character that has a lowercase whether it's a G or a Y or something that drops down below. Let's go ahead and do the same thing with, the, with these two blocks here. Select the team, make sure the text is center line, then get our text tool by hitting the F8 key, 
put in a bunch of columns out to about the length that we want it to extend to. Same thing with the third line. Hit the F8 key, put in a few commas, so on and so forth. So those are the maximum lengths that we want our lines. Now what we need to do is create a envelope. And what an envelope does is it constrains the size of the uh, text to be no longer than the envelope that's going to be created. So we'll go ahead and do our Windows Dockers and find the envelope docker, which is right here. It says it's showing. So we come over to Envelope. We've got the name file selected. All we want to do is click Add New and click Apply. And then go ahead and come over to the Team, click Apply, come over to the Division, click Apply. Now we've created all our envelopes. Let's go ahead and get our text tool again. Now this time when I go to click on Name, double click on it, you'll see it open up a window. All I want to do is take all those commas back out click OK and do that for each of the three lines. Click OK and same thing with the third column. Now briefly what will happen is we've just created our template. We'll go ahead and save it as AYSO template in CorelDRAW. And now we can go ahead and merge all these names to a new document. I haven't clicked it yet, but as soon as I click on this button, those 652 names that had a different name, a different team, and a different division will take just a minute or so to go ahead and create this new document that we're going to merge to. I've just clicked it, and the computer is thinking for a few seconds. You can see the uh, mouse is thinking. And in just a few minutes, you'll see that we'll have a new corral file that will have 652 separate pages with all these names. In the next video, I'll show you how to use the imposition layout. Instead of having to print all these individual names, with the imposition layout, we can go ahead and adjust it and put many plates on one plate. We've just finished with the print merge to a new document, and like I said, you can see there's 652 names. We've got Natalie with the yellow jackets. The next page is Katie, Kai Brandt, so on and so forth. And we can just scroll all the way through and you can see how highlights have changed and stuff. Electric Fogs team. Then we got the Orange Tigers, so on and so forth. That is essentially how you create a template for one template for many records. In the next video, we will go ahead and show you how to take all of these plates and put it to one page or several pages.